Section 1-1 Key Information Keys The following keys are provided with the vehicle. 1. Master Keys 2. Valet Key 3. Key Number Plate and 4. Flat Key When required to leave a key to the vehicle with a parking attendant, lock the glove box as circumstances demand. See page 228. Carry the Master Key for your own use and leave the Valet Key only with the attendant. Key Number Plate Keep the plate in a safe place such as your wallet, not in the vehicle. In the event that a key is lost, a new key can be made at your Lexus dealer using the key number plate. See page 369. Notice. To prevent key damage, do not bend the keys. Expose them to high temperatures by placing them in direct sunlight, or get them wet. Do not expose the keys to electromagnetic materials or attach any material that blocks electromagnetic waves to the key surface. Section 1-2 Opening closing and locking the doors. Wireless remote control. The wireless remote control can be used to lock and unlock the vehicle. 1. Locks all doors. 2. Unlock all doors. 3. Opens the windows and moon roof. Push and hold. And 4. Sounds alarm. Push and hold. See page 52. Two-step unlocking function. When you push the unlock button, the driver's door is unlocked. Pushing the button again within three seconds unlocks the other doors. Operation indicator. Doors. A buzzer sounds and the emergency flashes flash to indicate that the doors have been locked. Unlocked. Locked. Once. Unlocked. Twice. Windows and moon roof. A buzzer sounds when the windows and moon roof begin to open. Door lock. Buzzer. If a door is not fully closed, a buzzer sounds continuously if an attempt to lock the door is made. Fully close the door to stop the buzzer, and lock the vehicle once more. Security feature. If a door is not opened within approximately 30 seconds after the vehicle is unlocked, the theft deterrent system automatically locks the vehicle again. Low battery. If the wireless remote control does not function or if it only operates very close to the vehicle, the battery may be low. See page 317. Customization settings, such as two-step unlocking function, buzzer, can be changed. See page 398. Certification for wireless remote control, for vehicles sold in the USA. FCC ID, MOZRI-20BTY. Note. This device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. Operation is subject to the following two conditions. 1. This device may not cause harmful interference. And 2. This device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. Notice. This equipment has been tested and found to comply with the limits for a Class B digital device. Pursuant to Part 15 of the FCC rules, these limits are designed to provide reasonable protection against harmful interference in a residential installation. This equipment generates, uses and can radiate radio frequency energy and, if not installed and used in accordance with the instructions, may cause harmful interference to radio communications. However, there is no guarantee that interference will not occur in a particular installation. If this equipment does cause harmful interference to radio or television reception, which can be determined by turning the equipment off and on, the user is encouraged to try to correct the interference by one or more of the following measures. Reorient or relocate the receiving antenna. Increase the separation between the equipment and receiver. Connect the equipment into an outlet on a circuit different from that to which the receiver is connected. Consult the dealer or an experienced radio, TV technician for help. FCC warning. Changes or modifications not expressly approved by the party responsible for compliance could void the user's authority to operate the equipment. Certification for wireless remote control for vehicles sold in Canada. Note, operation is subject to the following two conditions. 1. This device may not cause interference. And, 2. This device must accept any interference, including interference that may cause undesired operation of the device. Side doors. The vehicle can be locked and unlocked using the wireless remote control. A key or door lock switch. Key. 1. Locks all doors. 2. Closes the windows. Moon roof, turn and hold. 3. Unlock all doors. Turning the key unlocks the driver's door. Turning the key once again unlocks the other doors. 
and 4. Opens the windows, moon roof, turn and hold wireless remote control. See page 4. Door lock switch. 1. Locks all doors, and 2. Unlocks all doors. Inside lock button. 1. Locks the door, and 2. Unlocks the door. The front doors can be opened by pulling the inside handles even if the lock buttons are in the lock position. Rear door child protector lock. The door cannot be opened from inside the vehicle when the locks are set. These locks can be set to prevent children from opening the rear doors. Push down rear door switches to lock the rear doors. Automatic door locking and unlocking systems. The following functions can be set or cancelled. Functions and operations. Shift position linked door locking function. Shifting the shift lever out of P locks all doors. Shift position linked door unlocking function. Shifting the shift lever to P unlocks all doors. Speed linked door locking function. All doors are locked when the vehicle speed is approximately 12 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour, or higher. And driver's door link door unlocking function. All doors are unlocked when the driver's door is opened within 10 seconds after turning the ignition switch to the ACC or lock position. Setting and cancelling the functions. To switch between setting and cancelling, follow the procedure below. Step 1 Close all the doors and turn the ignition switch to the on position. Perform step 2 within 10 seconds. And step 2 Shift the shift lever to P or N. Press and hold the driver's door lock switch, 1 or 2, for 5 seconds then release the shift lever and switch positions corresponding to the desired function to be set or cancelled are shown as follows. Functions, shift lever position, and switch position. Shift position linked door locking function. P. 1. Shift position linked door unlocking function. P. 2. Speed linked door locking function. N. 1. Driver's door link door unlocking function. N. 2. When the setting or cancelling operation is complete, all doors are locked and then unlocked, locking the front doors from outside using the inside lock button. Push the inside lock button rearward and close the door while holding the door handle up. If the wrong key is used, the key cylinder rotates freely to isolate the inside mechanism. Customization settings, such as unlocking function using a key can be changed. See page 398. Caution. To prevent an accident, observe the following precautions while driving the vehicle. Failing to do so may result in a door opening and an occupant falling out, resulting in death or serious injury. Always use a seat belt. Always lock all doors. Ensure that all doors are properly closed. Do not pull the inside handle of the front door while driving. Set the rear door child protector locks when children are seated in the rear seat. Back door. The back door can be opened to the following positions. Half open position. Full open position. You can hold the back door in this position using the back door stopper. When closing the door, be sure to unlock the back door stopper. Rear step bumper. For rear end protection and easier step uploading, the back door can be locked, unlocked. Using wireless remote control, see page 4. Using door lock switch, see page 6. Caution. Observe the following precautions. Failure to do so may result in death or serious personal injury. Caution while driving. Keep the back door closed. This not only keeps personal belongings from being thrown out, but also prevents exhaust gases from entering the vehicle. Do not get on the rear step bumper. If the back door is opened while parked, the open back door hides the rear lights. Other road users must be warned of the presence of your vehicle by a warning triangle or other device. When closing the back door, make sure not to get your hands caught in the back door stay. Notice to prevent damage to the rear step bumper. Do not allow more than one person to get on at a time. Section 1-3 Adjustable Components Front Seats 1. Seat Position 4 Aft Control Switch 2. Seat Back Angle Control Switch 3. Seat Cushion Front Angle Control Switch For Driver's Seat Only 4. Vertical Height Control Switch For Driver's Seat Only and 5. Lumbar Support Control Switch Caution Reclining Adjustment do not recline the seat more than necessary when the vehicle is in motion, to reduce the risk of sliding under the lap belt. If the seat is too reclined during an accident, 
the lap belt may slide past the hips and apply restraint forces directly to the abdomen or your neck may contact the shoulder belt, increasing the risk of death or serious injury. When adjusting the front passenger's seat from the driver's seat, wait until a passenger is seated or have gotten off the front passenger's seat before operating the switch to avoid injuring the passenger. Rear seats. To adjust the seat back angle, pull the lock release lever. Second seats. Third seats. If equipped, tumbling the second seat for third seat entry. Vehicles with third seat. For easy access to the third seat, tumble the second seat in accordance with the following procedure. Before tumbling the second seat, stow the rear seat belt buckles. Tumbling the second seat. Step 1. Lower the head restraints to the lowest position. Step 2. Fold down the seat backs while pulling the lock release levers. And step 3. Swing the seat up and forward until it locks in place. Returning the second seat. Push the red knobs and swing the seat down, then raise the seat backs. If you cannot raise the left side seat back, release the seat belt lock by 1. Pushing on the lower front edge of the seat back to slacken the seat belt. And 2. Let the seat belt retract a little. Folding up the third seats. Before folding up the third seats, stow the rear seat belt buckles. Use the seat belt hangers to prevent the belts from becoming tangled. For the center seat belt, stow the seat belt tabs in the cover set in the roof as shown. Folding up the third seats. Step 1. Lower the outboard head restraint to the lowest position and remove the center head restraint. Step 2. Stow the center head restraint in the seat back. See page 27. Step 3. Unlock the seat backs by pushing the lock release levers forward, and fold them down. Step 4. Unlock the seat legs by pulling the seat leg lock release handles, and lift the seats sideward. Step 5. Retract the seat legs. Then take the holding straps out and attach the straps to the assist grips. And step 6. Pull the free end of the straps to the secure seats. When returning the third seat to its original position, reverse the steps listed. Be sure to stow the holding straps as shown. Removing the third seats. Step 1. Follow the procedure for folding up the third seats up to step 3. Step 2. Unlock the seat legs by pulling the seat leg lock release handles and lift the seats. Retract the seat legs, then place the seats on the floor. And step 3. Remove the seat lock cover and push the red seat lock release knobs outward, then lift the seats free. When returning the third seat to its original position, reverse the steps listed. Caution. Reclining adjustment. Do not recline the seat more than necessary when the vehicle is in motion to reduce the risk of sliding under the lap belt. If the seat is too reclined during an accident, the lap belt may slide past the hips and apply restraint forces directly to the abdomen or your neck may contact the shoulder belt, increasing the risk of death or serious injury. When the seat back is folded, do not sit on or place anything on the seat back while driving. When returning the seat backs to their original position, observe the following precautions. Failure to do so may result in death or serious injury. Be careful not to get your hands or feet pinched in the seat. Make sure the seats are securely locked. Failure to do so will prevent the seat belt from operating properly. Check that the seat belts are not twisted or caught under the seat. Arrange the seat belts in the proper positions for ready use. When folding up the third seats, fix the seats securely by adjusting the length of the holding strap. Failure to do so may cause death or serious injury in the event of an accident or sudden breaking. When removed Moving or reinstalling the third seats. Observe the following precautions to prevent personal injury. Do not remove or reinstall the seats while the vehicle is moving. Do not leave the removed seat loose in the vehicle. Be careful not to get your hands or feet pinched in the seats. Be careful not to hit a person with the removed seat or drop it on yourself. Do not sit on or place anything on the removed seat. Install each seat in the same position from which it was removed. Failure to do so will prevent third seat occupants from using the seat belts properly. Notice, before tumbling, folding up or removing the seats, the seat belts and buckles must be stowed. Before tumbling the second seats, the headphone jack lid of the rear seat entertainment system must be closed. Removed third seats. Avoid putting heavy loads on the seats. The metallic tips of the seat legs may be damaged, and you may be unable to correctly reinstall the seats. Driving Position Memory System 
your preferred driving position, the position of the driver's seat, steering wheel and outside rear view mirrors, can be entered into the computer's memory and recalled with the touch of a button. Two different driving positions can be entered into memory. Entering a position into memory. Check that the shift lever is set in P. Step 1. Turn the ignition switch to the on position. Step 2. Adjust the driver's seat, steering wheel, and outside rear view mirrors to the desired positions. And step 3. While pushing the set button, push button 1 or 2 until the signal beeps. If the selected button has already been preset, the previously recorded position will be overwritten. Recalling the memorized position. Check that the shift lever is set in P. Step 1. Turn the ignition switch to the on position. And step 2. Push button 1 or 2 to recall the desired position. Retained accessory power. Each memorized position, except for the tilt and telescopic steering column can be activated within 30 seconds after the driver's door is opened, even if the key is not in the ignition switch. If any position memory button is pushed while the adjustments are being made, the operation will stop. To reactivate the system, push the button again. If the battery is disconnected, the memorized positions must be reset because the computer's memory is erased when the battery is disconnected. Caution. Seat adjustment caution. Take care during seat adjustment that the seat does not strike the rear passenger or squeeze your body against the steering wheel. If this happens, you can stop the movement by pressing another seat position memory button. Head restraints. Vertical adjustment. 1. Grip the head restraint and move it up or down. Push and hold the lock release button when lowering the head restraint. And 2. Grip the head restraint and remove while holding the lock release button. Horizontal adjustment. Grip the head restraint and twist to tilt forward or backward. Adjusting the height of the head restraints. Make sure that the head restraints are adjusted so that the center of the head restraint is closest to the top of your ears. When an occupant sits on the second center seat, always pull up the head restraint to the lock position. Head restraints of different seats. The head restraints are specially designed for the seats on which they are installed. When not using the third center seat head restraint, vehicles with third seat. Open the zipper on the back of the third seat and stow the head restraint inside. Caution. Head restraint precautions. Observe the following precautions regarding the head restraints. Failure to do so may result in death or serious injury. Adjust the head restraints to the correct position at all times. Do not drive with the head restraints removed. Seat belts. Make sure that all occupants are wearing their seat belts before driving the vehicle. Correct use of the seat belts. 1. Extend the shoulder belt so that it comes fully over the shoulder, but does not come into contact with the neck or slide off the shoulder. 2. Position the lap belt as low as possible over the hips. 3. Adjust the position of the seat back. Sit up straight and well back in the seat. And 4. Do not twist the seat belt. Fastening and releasing the seat belt. 1. Fastening the belt. Push the tab into the buckle until a clicking sound is heard. And 2. Releasing the belt. Press the release button. Adjusting the height of the belt, front and second outboard seats. 1. Up, and 2. Down. Move the height adjuster up and down as needed until you hear a click. Third center seat belt, vehicles with third seats. The third center seat belt is a three point type restraint with two buckles. Both seat belt buckles must be correctly located and securely latched for proper operation. Make sure that the buckle with the light gray buckle release button is securely latched for ready use of the center seat belt. Release method The belt can be completely released when not required such as when removing the third seat. Step 1. To release the hooked tab, insert the vehicle's key into the hole on the buckle with the light gray buckle release button. And step 2. Stow the seat belt tabs in the cover set in the roof as shown. Extracting the belt. Pull the belt out partially. Then remove the tabs from the cover. Seat belt pretensioners, front seats. The pretensioner helps the seat belt to quickly restrain the occupant by retracting the seat belt when the vehicle is subjected to certain types of severe frontal collision. The pretensioner may not activate in the event of a minor frontal impact, a side impact or a rear impact. Emergency Locking Retractor ELR. The retractor will lock the belt during a sudden stop or on impact. It may also lock if you lean forward too quickly. 
A slow, easy motion will allow the belt to extend, and you can move around fully. Automatic Locking Retractor ALR. When a passenger's shoulder belt is completely extended and then retracted even slightly, the belt is locked in that position and cannot be extended. This feature is used to hold the child restraint system CRS, firmly. To free the belt again, fully retract the belt and then pull the belt out once more. See page 81. Pregnant women, obtain medical advice and wear the seat belt in the proper way. See page 28. Women who are pregnant should position the lap belt as low as possible over the hips in the same manner as other occupants. Extend the shoulder belt completely over the shoulder and position the belt across the chest. Avoid belt contact over the rounding of the abdominal area. If the seat belt is not worn properly, not only a pregnant woman, but also the fetus could suffer death or serious injury as a result of sudden breaking or a collision. People suffering illness. Obtain medical advice and wear the seat belt in the proper way. See page 28. Child seat belt usage. The seat belts of your vehicle were principally designed for persons of adult size. Use a child restraint system appropriately for the child, until the child becomes large enough to properly wear the vehicle's seat belt. See page 74. When the child becomes large enough to properly wear the vehicle's seat belt, follow the instructions on page 28 regarding seat belt usage. Replacing the belt after the pretensioner has been activated. The seat belts cannot be used if a pretensioner has activated. After an accident, have your Lexus dealer inspect the pretensioners and replace them, if necessary. Seat belt extender. If your seat belts cannot be fastened securely because they are not long enough, a personalized seat belt extender is available from your Lexus dealer free of charge. Caution. Wearing a seat belt. Observe the following precautions to reduce the risk of injury in the event of sudden breaking or an accident. Failing to do so may cause death or serious injury. Ensure that all passengers wear a seat belt. Always wear a seat belt properly. Each seat belt should be used by one person only. Do not use a seat belt for more than one person at the same time including children. Children should be seated in the rear seat and always use a seat belt and or an appropriate child restraint system. Do not recline the seat any more than necessary to achieve a proper seating position. The seat belt is most effective when the occupants are sitting up straight and well back in the seats. Do not wear the shoulder belt under your arm. Always wear your seat belt low and snug across your hips. Seat belt damage and wear. Do not damage the seat belts by allowing the belt, plate or buckle to be jammed in the door. Inspect the seat belt system periodically. Check for cuts, fraying, and loose parts. Do not use a damaged seat belt until it is replaced. Damaged seat belts cannot protect an occupant from injury. Ensure that the belt and tab are locked and the belt is not twisted. If the seat belt does not function correctly, Immediately contact your Lexus dealer. Replace the seat assembly, including the belts. If your vehicle has been involved in a serious accident, even if there is no obvious damage, do not attempt to install, remove, modify, disassemble or dispose of a seat belt. Have any necessary repairs carried out by your Lexus dealer. Inappropriate handling of the pretensioner may cause it to activate or operate improperly and may cause death or serious injury. When using the third center seat belt, do not use the third center seat belt with either buckle released. Fastening only one of the buckles may result in death or serious injury in case of sudden breaking or a collision. Using a seat belt extender, do not wear the seat belt extender if you can fasten the seat belt without the extender. Do not use the seat belt extender when installing a child restraint system, because the belt will not securely hold the child restraint system, increasing the risk of death or serious injury in the event of a collision. The personalized extender may not be safe on another vehicle, when used by another person, or at a different seating position other than the one originally intended. Notice when using a seat belt extender. When releasing the seat belt, press on the buckle release button on the extender, not on the seat belt. This helps prevent damage to the vehicle interior and the extender itself. Steering wheel. The steering wheel can be adjusted to a comfortable position while the ignition switch is in the ACC or on position. 1. Up. 2. Down. 3. Toward the driver. And 4. 
away from the driver auto tilt away and auto return when the ignition key is removed the steering wheel returns to its stowed position by moving up and away to enable easier driver entry and exit when the key is inserted in the ignition switch the steering wheel will return to the original position caution caution while driving do not adjust the steering wheel doing so may cause the driver to mishandle the vehicle and may lead to an accident resulting in death or serious injury inside rear view mirror in the auto mode sensors are used to detect the headlights of vehicles behind and automatically reduces the reflected light press the switch to turn auto mode on off the indicator comes on when auto mode is turned on the anti-glare mirror is automatically set to auto mode whenever the ignition switch is turned to the on position to prevent sensor error to ensure correct functioning of the sensors do not touch or cover the sensors caution caution while driving do not adjust the position of the mirror doing so may lead to mishandling of the vehicle and may cause an accident resulting in death or serious injury outside rear view mirrors mirror angle can be adjusted using the switch when the ignition switch is in the acc or on position one select the mirror to adjust l left or r right and two adjust the mirror up down in or out using the switch folding the mirrors push backward when the mirrors are fogged up turn on the mirror heaters to defog the mirrors see page 169 linked mirror function when reversing the outside rear view mirrors will automatically angle downwards when the vehicle is reversing in order to give a better view of the ground however this function will not operate when the mirror select switch is in the neutral position neither l nor r selected one touch adjustment of the mirror angle vehicles with driving position memory a desired mirror face angle can be entered to memory and adjusted with the touch of a button see page 24 caution caution while driving observe the following precautions failing to do so may result in losing control of the vehicle and cause an accident resulting in death or serious injury do not adjust the mirrors do not drive with the mirrors folded back before driving, be sure to extend the mirrors and adjust properly. When the mirror heaters are operating, do not touch the mirror surface as the mirror surface becomes hot and do not touch the mirror surface also when the wiper switch is on at lower than 77 degrees Fahrenheit 25 degrees Celsius of the outside temperature. Notice, if ice should jam the mirror. Do not operate the control or scrape the mirror face. Use a spray de-icer to free the mirror. Roof luggage carrier, if equipped. 1. Cross rails, and 2. Roof rails. Adjusting the position of cross rails. Step 1. Turn the knobs counterclockwise to loosen the cross rails. And step 2. Slide the cross rails to the appropriate position for loading luggage. After adjusting, be sure to tighten the cross rails by turning knobs clockwise. Caution. Cross rail adjustment. Make sure the cross rails are locked securely by applying pressure forward and rearward. Failure to do so may cause an accident, death or serious injury in the event of emergency braking or a collision. When loading cargo, observe the following precautions. Place the cargo so that its weight is distributed evenly between the front and rear axles. If loading long or wide cargo, never exceed the vehicle overall length or width. See page 378. Before driving, make sure the cargo is securely fastened to the roof luggage carrier. Loading cargo on the roof luggage carrier will raise the vehicle's center of gravity. Avoid high speeds, sudden starts, sharp turns, sudden braking or abrupt maneuvers, otherwise unexpected loss of control or vehicle rollover may occur. If driving for a long distance, on rough roads, or at high speeds, stop the vehicle occasionally during the trip to make sure the cargo remains securely fastened. Do not exceed 130 pounds, 58 kilograms, cargo weight on the roof luggage carrier. Notice when loading the luggage, be careful not to scratch the surface of the moon roof. Cross rail stoppers to prevent damage the moon roof, do not remove the cross rail stoppers. Section 1-4 Opening and closing the windows and moon roof Power windows The power windows can be opened and closed using the following switches 1. Closing 2. One touch closing 3. Opening and 4. One touch opening Pushing the switch in the opposite direction will stop window travel part way 
Lock switch. Press the switch down to lock the passenger window switches. Use this switch to prevent children from accidentally opening or closing a passenger window. The power windows can be operated when the ignition switch is in the on position. Linked door lock window operation. The power windows can be opened and closed using the key. See page 6. The power windows can be opened using the wireless remote control. See page 4. Retained accessory power operation. The power windows can be operated for approximately 45 seconds even after the ignition switch is turned to the ACC or lock position. They cannot, however, be operated once the driver's or front passenger's door is opened. Jam protection function. If an object becomes caught between the window and the window frame, window travel is stopped and the window is opened slightly. When the battery is disconnected, the power windows must be initialized in order to ensure proper operation. Perform for each window with the switch for each seat. Step 1. Open the window halfway. And step 2. Fully close the window by pulling the switch up and continue holding the switch for one second. The indicator on the switch changes from a flashing pattern to being on when initialization are complete. Customization settings, such as linked door lock operation, can be changed. See page 399. Caution. When closing the windows, observe the following precautions. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury. Check to make sure that all passengers do not have any part of their body in a position where it could be caught when a window is being operated. Do not allow children to operate the power windows. Closing a power window on someone can cause death or serious injury. Jam protection function. Never try jamming any part of your body to activate the jam protection function intentionally. The jam protection function may not work if something gets caught just before the window fully closes. Moon roof. Use the overhead switches to open, close, and tilt the moon roof up and down. Opening and closing. One open, and two, close, to stop partway, press the switch lightly, tilt up and down, one, tilt down, and two, tilt up, to stop partway, press the switch lightly, the moon roof can be operated when, the ignition switch is in the on position, linked door lock moon roof operation, the moon roof can be opened and closed using the key, see page 6, the moon roof can be opened using the wireless remote control, see page 4, Retained accessory power operation. The moon roof can be operated for approximately 45 seconds even after the ignition switch is turned to the ACC or lock position. It cannot, however, be operated once the driver's door is opened. Jam protection function. If an object is detected between the moon roof and the frame while closing or tilting down, travel is stopped and the moon roof opens slightly. If the moon roof cannot be closed automatically, keep the switch depressed. Sunshade. The sunshade can be opened and closed manually. However, the sunshade will open automatically when the moon roof is opened. When the battery is disconnected, the moon roof must be initialized in order to ensure proper operation. Step 1. Close the moon roof fully. Step 2. Hold down the tilt up button until the moon roof tilts all the way up and then tilts down a little automatically. And step 3. To ensure initialization is complete, make sure automatic opening and closing functions work properly. Customization settings, such as linked door lock operation, can be changed. See page 399. Caution. When opening the moon roof, observe the following precautions. Failing to do so may cause death or serious injury. Do not allow any passengers to put their hands or heads outside the vehicle while it is moving. Do not sit on top of the moon roof. When closing the moon roof, observe the following precautions. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury. Check to make sure that all passengers do not have any part of their bodies in a position where they could be caught when the moon roof is being operated. Do not allow children to operate the moon roof. Closing the moon roof on someone can cause death or serious injury. Jam protection function. Never try jamming any part of your body to activate the jam protection function intentionally. The jam protection function may not work if something gets caught just before the moon roof fully closes. Section 1-5. Refueling. Opening the fuel tank cap. Perform the following steps to open the fuel tank cap. 
before refueling the vehicle. Stop the engine and ensure that all the doors and windows are closed. Opening the fuel tank cap. Step 1. Pull the fuel filler door lever. Step 2. Turn the cap counterclockwise by 90 degrees, 1, and then turn it an additional 30 degrees, 2. Pause briefly before removing the cap. And step 3. Hang the fuel tank cap on the back of the fuel filler door. Closing the fuel tank cap, after refueling, turn the fuel tank cap clockwise until you hear a click. The cap will revolve slightly in the opposite direction once released. Fuel types. Use premium unleaded gasoline. 91 octane rating, research octane number 96, or higher. Fuel tank capacity. Approximately 23 gallons. 87 liters. 19.1 imperial gallons. Caution. When refueling the vehicle. Observe the following precautions while refueling the vehicle. Failure to do so may result in death or serious injury. Touch the vehicle or some other metal surface to discharge any static electricity. Sparks resulting from discharging static electricity may cause the fuel vapors to ignite. Always hold the grips on the fuel tank cap and turn it slowly to remove it. A whishing sound may be heard when the fuel tank cap is loosened. Wait until the sound cannot be heard before fully removing the cap. In hot weather, pressurized fuel may spray out the filler neck and cause injury. Do not allow anyone that has not discharged static electricity from their bodies to come close to an open fuel tank. Do not inhale vaporized fuel. Fuel contains substances that are harmful if inhaled. Do not smoke while refueling the vehicle. Doing so may cause the fuel to ignite and cause a fire. Do not return to the vehicle or touch any person or object that is statically charged. This may cause static electricity to build up resulting in a possible ignition hazard. When replacing the fuel tank cap, do not use anything but a genuine Lexus fuel tank cap designed for your vehicle. Failure to do so may cause a fire or other incident which may result in death or serious injury. Notice. Refueling. Do not spill fuel during refueling. Failing to do so may damage the vehicle such as causing the exhaust systems to operate abnormally or damaging fuel system components or the vehicle's painted surface. Section 1-6 Theft Deterrent System Engine Immobilizer System The vehicle's keys have built-in transponder chips that prevent the engine from starting if the key has not been previously registered in the vehicle's onboard computer. The indicator light flashes after the ignition switch has been turned to the lock position to indicate that the system is operating. Conditions that may cause the system to malfunction if the grip portion of the key is in contact with a metallic object, if the key is in close proximity to or touching a key to the security system, key with a built-in transponder chip, of another vehicle. Certifications for the engine immobilizer system. For vehicles sold in the USA, FCCID, MOZRI-20BTY. This device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. Operation is subject to the following two conditions. 1. This device may not cause harmful interference. And, 2. This device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. For vehicles sold in Canada, operation is subject to the following two conditions. 1. This device may not cause interference. And, 2. This device must accept any interference, including interference that may cause undesired operation of the device. Caution. Certifications for the engine immobilizer system. Changes or modifications not expressly approved by the party responsible for compliance could void the user's authority to operate the equipment. Notice. For proper system operation, do not modify. Remove or disable the engine immobilizer system. If any unauthorized changes or modifications are made, the proper operation of the system cannot be guaranteed. Alarm. The alarm warns of forcible entry using the horn and lights. To arm the alarm, exit the vehicle. Make sure that the doors and hood are closed, and lock all the doors. The system will operate automatically once the indicator begins to flashing, deactivating or stopping the alarm. Do one of the following, unlock the doors using the key or the wireless remote control. Start the engine. Items to check before locking the vehicle. To prevent unintended triggering of the alarm, check that there is no one in the vehicle, and that all windows and the moon roof are closed before locking the vehicle. 
When the battery is disconnected, be sure to cancel the alarm system. If the battery is discharged before cancelling the alarm, the system may be triggered when the battery is reconnected. Panic mode. When the panic button is pushed for longer than about one second, the headlights slash tail lights. Emergency flashes will flash. The interior lights will come on and an alarm will sound for about 60 seconds to deter any person from trying to break into or damage your vehicle. To stop the alarm, push any button on the wireless remote control. Theft Prevention Labels, USA These labels are attached to the vehicle to reduce vehicle theft by facilitating the tracing and recovery of parts from stolen vehicles. Do not remove under penalty of law. Section 1-7 Safety Information Correct driving posture. Drive with a good posture as follows. 1. Sit upright and well back in the seat. 2. Adjust the position of the seat forward or backward to ensure the pedals can be reached and easily depressed to the extent required. See page 13. 3. Adjust the seat back so that the controls are easily operable. 4. Adjust the tilt and telescopic positions of the steering wheel downward so the airbag is facing your chest. See page 35. 5. Lock the head restraint in place with the center of the head restraint closest to the top of your ears. See page 26. And 6. Wear the seat belt correctly. See page 28. Caution. Caution while driving. Do not adjust the position of the driver's seat. Doing so could cause the driver to lose control of the vehicle. Do not place a cushion between the driver or passenger and the seat back. A cushion may prevent correct posture from being achieved, and reduce the effectiveness of the seat belt and head restraint, increasing the risk of death or serious injury to the driver or passenger. Do not place anything under the front seats. Objects placed under the front seats may become jammed in the seat tracks and stop the seat from locking in place. This may lead to an accident. The adjustment mechanism may also be damaged. Adjusting the seat position. Do not recline the seat more than necessary when the vehicle is in motion, to reduce the risk of sliding under the lap belt. If the seat is too reclined during an accident, the lap belt may slide past the hips and apply restraint forces directly to the abdomen or your neck may contact the shoulder belt, increasing the risk of death or serious injury. Take care when adjusting the seat position to ensure that other passengers are not injured by the moving seat. Do not put your hands under the seat or near the moving parts to avoid injury. Fingers or hands may become jammed in the seat mechanism. SRS airbags The SRS airbags inflate when the vehicle is subjected to certain types of severe impacts that may cause significant injury to the occupants. They work together with the seat belts to help reduce the risk of death or serious injury. Front airbags 1. Driver airbag Front passenger airbag can help protect the head and chest of the driver and front passenger from impact with interior components. Side and curtain shield airbags. 2. Side airbag, can help protect the torso of the front occupants. And 3. Curtain shield airbag, can help protect primarily the head of front occupants and rear outboard occupants. Airbag system components. 1. Front passenger airbag. 2. Curtain shield airbag. 3. Occupant Detection System, ECU and Sensors, 4, Airbag On and Airbag Off Indicator Light, 5, Side Airbag, 6, Curtain Shield Airbag Sensor, 7, SRS Warning Light and RCA Off Indicator Light, 8, Driver Airbag, 9, Side and Curtain Shield Airbag Sensor, 10, Driver's Seat Position Sensor, 11, Driver's Seat Belt Buckle Switch, 12, RCA off switch, 13, front passenger's seat belt buckle switch, 14, airbag sensor assembly, and 15, front airbag sensor. Your vehicle is equipped with advanced airbags designed based on US Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, FMVSS 208. The airbag system controls airbag deployment power for the driver and front passenger. The driver airbag system consists of the driver's seat position sensor etc. The front passenger's airbag system consists of the front passenger occupant classification sensor etc. The main SRS airbag system components are shown above. The SRS airbag system is controlled by the airbag sensor assembly. 
The airbag sensor assembly consists of a surfing sensor and an airbag sensor. In certain types of severe frontal or side impacts, the SRS airbag system triggers the airbag inflators. A chemical reaction in the inflators quickly fills the airbags with non-toxic gas to help restrain the motion of the occupants. If the SRS airbags deploy, inflate, bruising and slight abrasions may result from contact with a deploying, inflating, SRS airbag. A loud noise and white powder will be emitted. Parts of the airbag module, steering wheel hub, airbag cover and inflator, as well as the front seats, and parts of the front pillar and roof side rail, may be hot for several minutes. The airbag itself may also be hot. The windshield may crack. Operating conditions Front airbags The SRS front airbags will deploy if the severity of the frontal impact is above the design threshold level, comparable to an approximate 15 miles per hour, 25 km per hour, collision when the vehicle impacts straight into a fixed barrier that does not move or deform. However, this threshold velocity will be considerably higher if the vehicle strikes an object such as a parked vehicle or sign pole, which can move or deform on impact, or if the vehicle is involved in an underride collision, for example a collision in which the front of the vehicle underrides, or goes under, the bed of a truck, etc. It is possible that in some collisions where the forward deceleration of the vehicle is very close to the design threshold level, the SRS front airbags and the seat belt pretensioners may not activate together. The SRS front passenger airbag will not activate, if there is not passenger sitting in the front passenger seat. However, the front passenger airbag may deploy, if luggage is put in the seat or the seat belt is fastened, even if the seat is unoccupied. See page 69. Operating conditions, side and curtain shield airbags. The SRS side airbags and curtain shield airbags are designed to inflate when the passenger compartment is subjected to a severe impact from the side. The SRS side airbag on the passenger seat will not activate if there is no passenger sitting in the front passenger seat. However, the side airbag on the passenger seat may deploy, if luggage is put in the seat, even if the seat is unoccupied. See page 69, conditions under which the SRS airbags may deploy, inflate, other than a collision. The SRS front airbags may also deploy if a serious impact occurs to the underside of your vehicle. Some examples are shown in the illustration. Hitting a curb, edge of pavement or hard surface. Falling into or jumping over a deep hole. Landing hard or vehicle falling. The SRS curtain shield airbags may also deploy under the situations shown in the illustration. The angle of vehicle tip-up is marginal. The vehicle skids and hits a curbstone. Types of collisions that may not deploy the SRS airbag. Front airbags. The SRS front airbags are generally not designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a side or rear collision, if it rolls over, or if it is involved in a low speed frontal collision. But, whenever a collision of any type causes sufficient forward deceleration of the vehicle, deployment of the SRS front airbags may occur. Collision from the side. Collision from the rear. Vehicle rollover. Types of collisions that may not deploy the SRS airbag. Side and curtain shield airbags. The SRS side airbag and curtain shield airbag system may not activate if the vehicle is subjected to a collision from the side at certain angles, or a collision to the side of the vehicle body other than the passenger compartment. Collision from the side to the vehicle body other than the passenger compartment. Collision from the side at an angle. The SRS side airbags are not generally designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a frontal or rear collision if it rolls over, or if it is involved in a low-speed side collision. Collision from the front. Collision from the rear. Vehicle rollover. The SRS curtain shield airbags are not generally designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a frontal or rear collision, if it pitches and over, or if it is involved in a low-speed side collision. Collision from the front. Collision from the rear. Pitches and over end. When to contact your Lexus dealer. In the following cases, contact your Lexus dealer as soon as possible. Do not disconnect the battery cables before contacting your Lexus dealer. Any of the SRS airbags have been inflated. The front of the vehicle is damaged or deformed. Or was involved in an accident that was not severe enough to cause the SRS airbags to inflate. 
a portion of the doors is damaged or deformed, or the vehicle was involved in an accident that was not severe enough to cause the SRS side airbags and curtain shield airbags to inflate. The pad section of the steering wheel or front passenger airbag cover of the instrument panel is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. The surface of the seats with the side airbag is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. The portion of the front pillars, rear pillars or roof side rail garnishes, padding, containing the curtain shield airbags is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. Caution SRS Airbag Precautions Observe the following precautions regarding the airbags. Failure to do so may cause death or serious injury. The driver and all passengers in the vehicle must wear their seat belts properly. The SRS airbags are supplemental devices to be used with the seat belts. The SRS driver airbag deploys with considerable force, and can cause death or serious injury especially if the driver is very close to the airbag. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, advises. Since the risk zone for driver airbag is the first 2 to 3 inches 50 to 75 millimeters of inflation, placing yourself 10 inches 250 millimeters from your driver airbag provides you with a clear margin of safety. This distance is measured from the center of the steering wheel to your breastbone. If you sit less than 10 inches 250 millimeters away now, you can change your driving position in several ways. Move your seat to the rear as far as you can while still reaching the pedals comfortably. Slightly recline the back of the seat. Although vehicle designs vary, many drivers can achieve the 10 inches, 250 millimeters, distance, even with the driver's seat all the way forward, simply by reclining the back of the seat somewhat. If reclining the back of your seat makes it hard to see the road, raise yourself by using a firm, non-slippery cushion or raise the seat of your vehicle has that feature. If your steering wheel is adjustable, tilt it downward. This points the airbag toward your chest instead of your head and neck. The seat should be adjusted as recommended by NHTS or above, while still maintaining control of the foot pedals, steering wheel, and your view of the instrument panel controls. If the seat belt extender has been connected to the driver's seat belt buckle but the seat belt extender has not also been fastened to the latch plate of the driver's seat belt, the SRS driver's airbag system will judge that the driver is wearing the seat belt even though the seat belt has not been connected. In this case, the driver's airbag may not activate correctly in a collision, resulting in death or serious injury in the event of collision. Be sure to wear the seat belt with the seat belt extender. The SRS front passenger airbag also deploys with considerable force, and can cause death or serious injury especially if the front passenger is very close to the airbag. The front passenger seat should be as far from the airbag as possible with the seat back adjusted so the front passenger sits upright. Improperly seated and or restrained infants and children can be killed or seriously injured by a deploying airbag. An infant or child who is too small to use a seat belt should be properly secured using a child restraint system. Lexus strongly recommends that all infants and children be placed in the rear seats of the vehicle and properly restrained. The rear seats are the safest for infants and children. See page 74. Do not sit on the edge of the seat or lean against the dashboard. Do not allow a child to sit on the knees of a front passenger while the vehicle is moving. Do not drive the vehicle while the driver or passenger have items resting on their knees. Do not lean against the door, the roof side rail or the front, side and rear pillars. Do not allow anyone to kneel on the passenger seat toward the door or put their head or hands outside the vehicle. Do not attach anything to or lean anything against areas such as the dashboard or steering wheel pad of the instrument panel. These items can become projectiles when the SRS driver and front passenger airbags deploy. Do not attach anything to areas such as the door, windshield glass, side door glass, front and rear pillars, roof side rail or assist grip. Do not hang coat hangers or other hard objects on the coat hooks. All of these items could become projectiles and seriously injure or kill you, should the SRS curtain shield airbag deploy. Do not use seat accessories which cover the parts where the SRS side airbags inflate as they may interfere with inflation of the airbags. 
do not strike or apply significant levels of force to the area of the SRS airbag components shown on page 57. Doing so can cause the SRS airbags to malfunction. Do not touch any of the component parts immediately after the SRS airbags have deployed, inflated, as they may be hot. If breathing becomes difficult after the SRS airbag has deployed, open a door or window to allow fresh air in, or leave the vehicle if it is safe to do so. Wash off any residue as soon as possible to prevent skin irritation. If the areas where the SRS airbags are stored, such as the steering wheel pad and front pillar garnish, are damaged or cracked, have them replaced by your Lexus dealer. Modification and disposal of SRS airbag system components. Do not dispose of your vehicle or perform any of the following modifications without consulting your Lexus dealer. The SRS airbag may malfunction or deploy, inflate, accidentally, causing death or serious injury. Installation, removal, disassembly and repair of the SRS airbags. Repairs, modifications, removal or replacement of the steering wheel. Instrument panel, dashboard, seats or seat upholstery, front, side and rear pillars or roof side rail. Repairs or modifications of the front fender, front bumper, or side of the occupant compartment. Installation of snow plows, winches, etc. to the front grille, bull bars, kangaroo bar etc. Modifications to the vehicle's suspension system. Installation of electronic devices such as mobile two-way radios or CD players. Modifications to your vehicle for a person with a physical disability. Deactivating the curtain shield airbags in a vehicle rollover. On slash off. Hold for a few seconds. The RSCA off indicator light turns on. Only when the ignition switch is in the on position. The switch only should be used in a situation where inflation is not desired, such as during extreme off-road driving. Operating conditions when the RSCA off indicator is on. The curtain shield airbag and seat belt pretensioner will not activate in a vehicle rollover. The curtain shield airbag will activate in a severe side impact. Caution. For normal driving. Make sure the RCA off indicator light is not turned on. If it is left on, the curtain shield airbag will not activate in the event of an accident, which may result in death or serious injury. Front passenger occupant classification system. Your vehicle is equipped with a front passenger occupant classification system. This system detects the conditions of the front passenger seat and activates or deactivates the devices for front passenger. 1. SRS warning light. 2. Front passenger seat belt reminder light. 3. Airbag off indicator light. And 4. Airbag on indicator light. Condition and operation in the front passenger occupant classification system. Adult indicator slash warning light. Airbag on and airbag off indicator lights. Airbag on. SRS warning light. Off. Front passenger's seat belt reminder light. Flashing. Devices. Front passenger airbag. Side airbag in the front passenger seat. Curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side. Front passenger seat belt pretensioner. Activated. Child or child restraint system. Indicator. Warning light. Airbag on and airbag off indicator lights. Airbag off. SRS warning light. Off. Front passenger seat belt reminder light. Flashing. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, activated, unoccupied, indicator, warning light, airbag on and airbag off indicator lights, not illuminated, SRS warning light, front passenger seat belt reminder light, off. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, activated, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, deactivated, system malfunction, indicator, warning light, airbag on and airbag off indicator lights, airbag off, SRS warning light, on, front passenger seat belt reminder light, off. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, activated, 
The system judges a person of adult size as an adult. When a smaller adult sits in the front passenger seat, the system may recognize him, her as a child depending on his, her physique and posture. In the event the front passenger does not wear a seat belt. When a large child who has outgrown a child restraint system sits in the front passenger seat, the system may recognize him, her as an adult depending on his, her physique and posture. Never install a rear-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat. A forward-facing child restraint system should only be installed on the front passenger seat when it is unavoidable. See page 77. In case indicator is not illuminated, consult this manual as for installing the child restraint system properly. See page 74. Caution. Front passenger occupant classification system precautions. Observe the following precautions regarding the front passenger occupant classification system. Wear the seat belt properly. Make sure the front passenger's seat belt tab has not been left inserted into the buckle before someone sits in the front passenger seat. Make sure the airbag off indicator light is not illuminated when using the seat belt extender for the front passenger seat. If the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, disconnect the extender tongue from the seat belt buckle, then reconnect the seat belt. Reconnect the seat belt extender after making sure the airbag on indicator light is illuminated. If you use the seat belt extender while the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, the front passenger airbag and side airbag on the front passenger side may not activate correctly, which could cause death or serious injury in the event of a collision. Do not apply a heavy load to the front passenger seat or equipment. For example arm rest. Do not put weight on the front passenger seat by putting your hands or feet on the front passenger seat seat back from the second seat. Do not let a second seat passenger lift the front passenger seat with their feet or press on the seat back with their legs. Do not put objects under the front passenger seat. Do not recline the front passenger seat back so far that it touches a rear seat. This may cause the airbag off indicator light to be illuminated which indicates that the passenger's airbags will not deploy in the event of a severe accident. If the seat back touches the rear seat, return the seat back to a position where it does not touch the rear seat. Keep the front passenger seat back as upright as possible when the vehicle is moving. Reclining the seat back excessively may lessen the effectiveness of the seat belt system. If an adult sits in the front passenger seat, the airbag on indicator light is illuminated. If the airbag off indicator is illuminated, ask the passenger to sit up straight, well back in the seat, feet on the floor, and with the seat belt worn correctly. If the airbag off indicator still remain illuminated, either ask the passenger to move to the rear seat, or if that is not possible, move the front passenger seat fully rearward. When it is unavoidable to install a forward-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat, install the child restraint system on the front passenger seat in the proper order. See page 77. Do not remove the front seat. Do not kick the front passenger seat or subject it to severe impact. Otherwise, the SRS warning light may come on to indicate a malfunction in the detection system. In this case, contact your Lexus dealer immediately. Do not use a seat accessory, such as a cushion or seat cover, that covers the seat cushion surface. Child restraint systems installed on the second seat should not contact the front seat backs. Child restraint systems. A child restraint system for a small child or baby must itself be properly restrained on the seat with the lap portion of the lap, shoulder belt. The laws of all 50 states of the USA and Canada now require the use of child restraint systems. Points to remember. Studies have shown that installing a child restraint on a rear seat is much safer than installing one to the front passenger seat. Choose a child restraint system appropriate to the age and size of the child. For installation details, follow the instructions provided with the child restraint system. General installation instructions are provided in this manual. See page 77. Types of child restraints. Child restraint systems are classified into the following three types according to the age and size of the child. 
infant seat, convertible seat, and booster seat. When the child restraint system is not in use, leave the child restraint system properly secured on the seat. Do not store the restraint loosely on a passenger seat or in the luggage compartment. Selecting an appropriate child restraint system. Get an appropriate child restraint system for the child. If a child is too large for a child restraint system, sit the child on a rear seat and use the vehicle's seat belt. See page 28. Caution. Child restraint precautions. For effective protection in automobile accidents and sudden stops, a child must be properly restrained, using a seat belt or child restraint system depending on the age and size of the child. Holding a child in your arms is not a substitute for a child restraint system. In an accident, the child can be crushed against the windshield, or between you and the vehicle's interior. Lexus strongly urges the use of a proper child restraint system that conforms to the size of the child, installed on the rear seat. According to accident statistics, the child is safer when properly restrained in the rear seat than in the front seat. Never install a rear-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated. In the event of an accident, the force of the rapid inflation of the front passenger airbag can cause death or serious injury to the child if the rear-facing child restraint system is installed on the front passenger seat. A forward-facing child restraint system should allow it to be installed on the front passenger seat only when it is unavoidable. Always move the seat as far back as possible even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, because the front passenger airbag could inflate with considerable speed and force. Otherwise, the child may be killed or seriously injured. Do not use the seat belt extender when installing a child restraint system on the front or rear passenger seat. If installing a child restraint system with a seat belt extender connected to the seat belt, the seat belt will not securely hold the child restraint system, which could cause death or serious injury to the child or other passengers in the event of collision. Do not allow the child to lean his, her head or any part of his, her body against the door or the area of the seat front pillar or roof side rail from which the side airbags or curtain shield airbags deploy even if the child is seated in the child restraint system. It is dangerous if the side airbags and curtain shield airbags inflate, and the impact could cause death or serious injury to the child. Make sure you have complied with all installation instructions provided by the child restrained manufacturer and that the system is properly secured. If it is not secured properly, it may cause death or serious injury to the child in the event of a sudden stop or accident. Installing child restraints Follow the child restraint system manufacturer's instructions. Firmly secure child restraint using the seat belt. If using the lower anchorages, use the top strap as well. And be sure to secure both firmly. 1. Seat belts equipped with a child restraint locking mechanism. ALR slash ELR belts except driver's seat belt see page 31. 2. Child restraint lower anchorages. Lower anchorages are provided for the right side seat and between the center and left side seats. Buttons displaying the location of the anchorages are attached to the seats. And 3. Anchor bracket, for top strap. Anchor brackets are provided for all second seats. Installing child restraints using a seat belt, child restraint lock function belt. Rear facing child seat infant convertible. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the rear seat facing the rear of the vehicle. Step 2. Run the seat belt through the infant seat and insert the plate into the buckle. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Step 3. Fully extend the shoulder belt and then allow it to retract slightly in order to activate the AL out lock mode. Lock mode allows the seat belt to retract only. And step 4. While pushing the child's seat down into the seat, Allow the shoulder belt to retract until the child's seat is securely in place. After the shoulder belt is retracted to a point where there is no slack in the belt, pull the belt to check that it cannot be extended. Forward facing convertible child seat. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the seat facing the front of the vehicle. Step 2. Run the seat belt through the child's seat and insert the plate into the buckle. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Step 3. Fully extend the shoulder strap and then allow it to retract slightly into the AL out lock mode. 
Lock mode allows the seat belt to retract only. And step 4. While pushing the child's seat into the seat, allow the shoulder belt to retract until the child's seat is securely in place. After the shoulder belt has retracted to a point where there is no slack in the belt, pull the belt to check that it cannot be extended. Booster seat. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the seat facing the front of the vehicle. And step 2. Sit the child in the child's seat. Fit the seat belt to the child's seat according to the manufacturer's instructions and insert the plate into the buckle. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Check that the shoulder belt is correctly positioned over the child's shoulder, and that the lap belt is as low as possible. See page 28. Removing a child restraint installed with a seat belt. Push the buckle release button and fully retract the seat belt. Installation with child restraint lower anchorages. Fold the seat back forward and then back to the first lock position, most upright position, until it locks into place. Adjust the seat back to the fifth lock position. 1. First lock position, and 2. Fifth lock position. Type A. Step 1. Widen the gap between the seat cushion and seat back slightly. And step 2. Latch the hooks of the lower straps onto the anchorages. If the child restraint has a top strap, the top strap should be latched onto the anchorage. For owners in Canada, the symbol on a child restraint system indicates the presence of a lower anchorage system. Type B. Step 1. Widen the gap between the seat cushion and seat back slightly. And step 2. Latch the buckles onto the anchorages. If the child restraint has a top strap, the top strap should be latched onto the anchorage. For owners in Canada, the symbol on a child restraint system indicates the presence of a lower anchorage system. Child restraint systems with a top strap. Step 1. Secure child restraint using a seat belt or lower anchors and remove the head restraint. Step 2. Open the anchor bracket cover, latch the hook onto the anchor bracket and tighten the top strap. Make sure the top strap is securely latched. And Step 3. Reinstall the head restraint. Laws and regulations pertaining to anchorages. Anchorages conform to FMVSS 225 or CMVSS 210.2. Child restraint systems conforming to FMVSS 213 or CMVSS 213 specifications can be used. This vehicle is designed to conform to the SAEJ 1819. Caution when installing a booster seat. Do not fully extend the shoulder belt to prevent the belt from going to ALR lock mode. See page 31. ALR mode causes the belt to tighten only which could cause injury or discomfort to the child. Do not allow the child to play with the seat belt or the child could be killed or serious injured. When installing a child restraint system, follow the directions given in the child restraint system installation manual and fix the child restraint system securely in place. If the child restraint system is not correctly fixed in place, the child may be injured or even killed in the event of sudden breaking or an accident. If the driver's seat interferes with the child restraint system and prevents it from being attached correctly, attach the child restraint system to the right-hand rear seat. Only put a forward-facing or boost a child seat on the front seat when unavoidable. When installing a forward-facing or boost a child restraint on the front passenger seat, move the seat as far back as possible even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury if the airbags deploy, inflate. When installing a child restraint system in the third center position, set the both seat backs to the same angle. Otherwise. The child restraint system cannot be properly secured. When a booster seat is installed, always ensure that the shoulder belt is positioned across the center of the child's shoulder. The belt should be kept away from the child's neck, but not so that it could fall off the child's shoulder. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury in the event of an accident or sudden breaking. Ensure the belt and dab are securely locked and that the seat belt is not twisted. Push and pull the child's seat in different directions to be sure it is secure. Follow all installation instructions provided by the child restraint system manufacturer. Do not use a seat belt extender. If a seat belt extender is used when installing a child restraint system, the seat belt will not securely hold the child restraint system, which could cause death or serious injury to the child or other passengers in the event of a collision. To correctly attach a child restraint system to the anchorages, 
When using the lower anchorages, be sure that there are no foreign objects around the anchorages and that the seat belt is not caught behind the child's seat. Make sure the child restraint system is securely attached, or it may cause death or serious injury to the child in the event of a sudden stop or accident. When using the left side lower anchorages for the child restraint system, do not sit in the center seat. Seat belt function may be impaired, such as being positioned overly high or loose fitting, which may result in death or serious injury in the event of a collision.